Hi guys, today I'm going to teach you how to dance to songs with kind of weird difficult beat so that you feel prepared when you go out and you can dance to any song correctly. In this song, there is a whole lot going on, but it doesn't mean that you have to hit every beat. want to be able to figure out the tempo of the song. We know from my first video on that, that sometimes there is a kick drum, then you can hear the tempo clearly. Sometimes there isn't, but the tempo is still there. Every single song has the tempo. We will count to two, and right away I'm going to show you a different movement that we can do to the tempo. We're just going to bring one knee forward at a time, keeping the other leg straight, and it doesn't matter how many times the knee goes forward, you can switch it up, as long as we accent that uh, beat with the knee forward. You can do three in a row, you can do one, you can do two, um, or you can just keep switching, that's the easiest option. Now remember, even though there isn't a snare sound in the song, we can figure out where the snare is based on the tempo. Because since we count the tempo to two, every beat two will be the snare drum. One, two, one, two, one, two, right? So every second one of those hits would be the snare by definition. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. So then we can dance on beat two only. We can skip one beat and just accent every second one. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Only bend the knee on two. One, two, one, two. Two, one, two. One, two, one, two. So see, we are only accenting every other beat where before we were moving twice as fast because we were dancing to the tempo. Third way you can dance to a song like that is you can ignore the beat completely and just dance to the melody. You can also dance to vocals and those movements, they don't have to fall on beat. Actually, they won't fall on beat. We're just going to do something smooth, continuous, uh, like the figure eight. This is one of the most popular continuous movements. So basically, you can do it however you want. It doesn't have to, like I said, follow the beat. So slower, you can slow it down, you can speed it up. There's always melody in a song, so it will fall on something always. You can do the hip roll, right? We know this one, and if we don't know, I'll post the tutorial below. If you don't want to move the hips, you can just shift weight. This is also a smooth movement. You're just kind of going from one leg to the other and you're smoothing it out, you're smoothing everything out. And last but not least, this is for my advanced beginners, uh, you can also dance with syncopation, which means that you're hitting everything in between the main beats. Uh, it's way more complex, you have to have good body control, and it looks something like this. When you are dancing, you can do any, you can follow any one of those rhythmic patterns. So either dancing to the snare, dancing to the tempo, dancing to the melody with those smooth movements, or dancing to syncopation, or 
you hear the song and you just want to stay with one rhythmic pattern and that's totally fine. So let me show you an example where um, the song is again a little bit more complex but I want to just ignore the beat and just do smooth movements. When you know that I do Building rhythm skills if you're a complete beginner. It is a process. It's not going to happen after just watching one video. You won't all of a sudden dance with rhythm. I can tell you that in my online program, it takes my students like a few weeks to be able to dance correctly with rhythm to any song, but it does require practicing, right? You have to listen to different types of music. You have to identify the snare, be able to figure out the tempo from it, vice versa. So it is possible, even if you've never heard those beats before in your life, you will be able to dance with rhythm. On my channel, guys, I teach all kinds of movements. Some of them I accent the snare with, some of them follow on the tempo. I prepared a guide for you where I list everything. I list different options with the links to the tutorials so you know which is which and you don't have to kind of go through my channel and be confused like I am half the time. I'm going to post the link below where you can leave your email, I'm going to send it to you and you'll be able to know what moves to do when. And remember, if you're totally bad with rhythm and you want to learn online with my help to become a skilled and confident social dancer, you can book a consultation with me below to get started. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to see you in my next tutorial. Bye guys.